Hi. So in this video, we're going to talk about implicit differentiation. Okay, so firstly, that word implicit. Implicit differentiation allows us to find the derivative of a function without it being explicitly in x, or whatever variable it's in. You have been explicitly differentiating since you learned how to differentiate, but now we're going to learn how to implicitly differentiate. So previously, maybe you've had to re you could you would have had to rearrange to get it explicitly in x. However, now we're going to learn that you don't need to do that. Okay. The key thing to remember is derivative of y is dy by dx. Another key thing to remember is don't forget any of the previous techniques of differentiation we've learned. Always be thinking, do I need to do chain rule? Be thinking, am I going to be using product rule, quotient rule? But again, always be remembering, do I need to do chain rule? Okay. So process is going to be, I'm going to write out, we just differentiate each term independently. So I'm going to differentiate x squared, I'll differentiate 4xy, I'll differentiate y squared, and then I'll differentiate 8. Okay, so I'll write that out. So we're differentiating x squared plus a derivative 4xy plus a derivative of y squared equals a derivative of 8. And now we just let's independently differentiate them all, and we'll deal with that y in a minute. And that y differentiate x squared, what do you get? You get 2x. So let me think how we're going to differentiate 4xy. That's two functions there 4x and it's y. How do you differentiate two functions when they're multiplying or by or when they're products of each other? It's the product rule. So we're going to differentiate these individually, differentiate this by product rule. So differentiate the first function, which is the 4x, and we get 4 leave the second function, which is y, leave the first function, 4x, and then differentiate y. What happens if you differentiate y? You get dy by dx. Now, that is a function within a function. It's just it's y squared. So differentiate the external function, because this is just chain rule, and we get 2 differentiate 2y differentiate the internal function and it's y and then you're going to get what's the derivative of y it is dy by dx that's really bad on right so the derivative of y squared is 2y dy by dx i'm going to run out of space for this question d by dx of 8 differentiate a number you just get zero okay so we have now differentiated it but it's not very neat I want to rearrange this for dy by dx and make it in that form. So let's simplify 2x plus 4y plus 4x dy by dx plus 2y dy by dx equals 0. So we're going to take everything over that's not got a dy by dx. So we're going to get 4x dy by dx plus 2y dy by dx will equal negative 2x minus 4y to get just one dy by dx and can take out a common factor of dy by dx leaving 4x plus 2y all equal to negative 2x minus 4y and then to get dy by dx on its own just divide through so we get negative 2x minus 4y all over 4x plus 2y and they were differentiated implicitly and rearranged it to get it in the form dy by dx because then if we were to use that in a further calculation we would want it to be dy by dx equals something okay so let's see if i can fit this question on this piece of paper differentiate the following so again set it up to differentiate d by dx of x plus d by dx of 3 equals d by dx of e to the power y. So let's differentiate each of them individually. Differentiate x and you get 1. Differentiate 3, you get 0. So it's just 1 equals the derivative of e to the y. What happens if you get, if you differentiate e to the x or e to anything, it stays the same. But then we're going to differentiate, we're going to multiply it by the derivative of the internal function, which is y. And we know that the derivative of y is dy by dx. Okay? I don't want 
to this like this. I want it to be dy by dx equals something. So we just divide through by the e e to the power y. And that's as done. Maybe should have started with that question. That one's a bit more, <laughs> this one's a bit more complicated than this one. So I'm gonna do one more example on the next page. And it's showing you that, yeah, again, everything's now is gonna be maybe the concept of it is maybe higher or stuff we've done previously, but it's now using advanced higher techniques. Okay. So calculate the gradient at the point three negative four on the circle with equation x squared plus y squared equals 25. And hence find the equation of the tangent at that point. So really you could have been asked in higher, calculate the equation of the tangent at the curve of the, on the curve at the point. This is just this time, instead of a parabola, or a polynomial, it's a circle equation. And you could rearrange that to make it explicitly an x. However, we now know how to implicitly differentiate, so let's do that. So the first thing we need to do is differentiate it. So we've got x squared plus y squared equals 25. So we prepare to differentiate d by dx of x squared plus d by dx of y squared will equal d by dx of 25. Derivative derivative of two of x squared is two x. Derivative of y squared is going to be two y dy by dx, and derivative of twenty five is just zero. So let's rearrange that for dy by dx. And so dy by dx equals negative two x over two y. We're calculating the gradient at the point, and if you remember, different uh, derivative uh, dy by dx equals m, because differentiation gives us a gradient at a point. So we need to substitute in a value for x and y, which we know, 3 and negative 4. So m is going to be negative 2 times 3, all over 2 times negative 4. So that gives us negative six and negative eight, which gives us three quarters. So the gradient at the point three negative four is three quarters. And the question is not over yet. Hence, find the equation of the tangent at that point. So we just do y minus b equals m bracket x minus a. We know the gradient is three quarters and we know the coordinate point is three negative four. So y plus four equals three quarters x minus three. So 4y plus 16 equals 3x minus 9. So then 4y would equal 3x minus 9 minus 16 is minus 25. Now we can leave it like that. Okay, so that is implicit differentiation.